Alright, so what is going on guys? It is Zodibori here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video on my channel, and I'm super excited to bring you guys some pretty good news. We're going to be starting a new series on this channel called Road to Thousand Pound Club, as well as another sub-series that's going to be sort of titled like Road to Bodybuilder, because as I've been saying a bunch now, I'm trying to get in the Thousand Pound Club, and I'm going to be doing a bit of powerlifting training here pretty soon for a few months as I'm bulking and sort of getting back into lifting heavy so that I can get into that Thousand Pound Club, but at the same time, I don't want to completely give up all my hypertrophy gains that I've been trying to gather for the last two and a half years now. So with that being said, we're going to have two different training styles that I'm going to be uploading and the title will obviously correlate to whatever training style that day will be as I try and get my PRs back up to get into that thousand pound club. And I'm assuming since I went to 975 last time I bulked and tried to lift heavy that I'm going to well exceed a thousand pounds, at least get 1100, 1200, maybe even more than that. So we're going to obviously go for as much as we possibly can within the next, you know, three, four months. But the goal obviously is to just get into that thousand pound club so every few weeks we're gonna be testing my one rep max and i'll obviously post a video for you guys to see of those and we're going to be also training more five by five style where i'm trying to actually gain more strength and instead of just going full hypertrophy gains so as of right now i'm doing push pull legs which means i hit push pull and legs two times per week so the one push will be more strength focused while the other push day will be more hypertrophy focused and we'll kind of split it up into that for each week so I'll obviously keep you guys updated with any changes or adjustments that I make after I do more research and sort of figure out what the best style is in order to achieve my goals on top of that I'm also going to be going on a cruise here on Monday today is currently Saturday so I have to do a bunch of laundry pack and then get ready to go on the cruise yeah we're hoping to you know the cruise has unlimited food so I'm hoping to put on some weight here and just eat as healthy as I possibly can while also just increasing the amount of calories I put in for the next you know two weeks or whatever it is so yeah we're gonna be going to best fitness today and hitting a pull day I'll probably record that for you guys um, last pull day was more deadlift focused today we're gonna not deadlift at all we're gonna just be doing you know normal you know lats and mid back as well as hitting buys straps and rear delts so I'm just trying to figure out what works best for me that's what I feel like I recommend everyone should do is just find what works best adjust your programs based on that one thing I do recommend for all the newer guys out there is don't cut so quickly like I cut way too soon and I did it in a way that I lost a lot of strength and a lot of my muscle gains um, this is pretty much due to the fact that I was just cutting calories and not hitting my protein goals every day which is something I definitely don't recommend you do and now that I've taken my eating more seriously for the last like two months month and a half um, I've been seeing a lot better gains and a lot better strength performance in general in the gym I'm gonna catch you guys when I get to the gym we'll go ahead and we'll do this pull day if you could in the description box down below I have all my socials posted if you can go check those out that would be amazing Amazing. I've been posting a lot of TikToks. I post on my Instagram and my Snapchat whenever I upload a new video or upload a new TikTok. So you guys can get updates there. Yeah, I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Odiebro if you want to go ahead and follow that and watch some gaming content. I do a lot of eating, of course, because I'm trying to gain weight or at least maintain what I had previously. But yeah, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I'm going to pick it up when I get to the gym. Hi, right, boys. Just got to the gym. Did my two warm-up sets and my stretch. Now we're hitting isolateral lap pull-down, thinking about squeezing at the bottom and three to four second negative centric, whatever. And yeah, I'm lifting about eight hours earlier than I usually do. And I've had one meal, a monster, and uh, two Rice Krispies. So this should be good.
Now we're gonna rip three sets of this uh, isolateral like mid row. I like the lat pull down because like once you have failure, you can go one arm and really get the last squeeze and then go back to two arms and kind of let your form deteriorate. So I'm gonna do something similar with this. I think I'm also gonna switch grips and after like five or six reps, you just really feel the squeeze in this and I'm like, the stretch at the bottom is pretty crazy. My back is like tearing apart. So I think this will be good. I don't ever do this often. So we're gonna rip this. It feels really good. I use this machine a lot. I start doing that more often. Today we're just doing isolateral everything. This is another machine I've been liking a lot. Try and get the more of the bottom lap, lower lap. So we'll do like two, three, four sets of this and probably some pull-ups after. Again, just squeezing and then getting a good stretch. This one I can't stretch too much. My arms are too long and you can't adjust the top thing, but it's alright. <laughs> Three sets of pull-ups. One of my least favorite things ever. My shoulders suck, my back sucks, so I just need as many reps as we can. Two, three sets. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully get like six. Pretty good for me. Alright, I'm 
We're doing this uh, underhand grip, pin up, whatever you want to call it. A little bit closer in. Doing some face pulls. I haven't done these in a long ass time. We'll do two sets, like up to down, and then one set down to up. I don't know how much weight I do on this anymore, honestly. Probably keep that same way, do one more set, and then we go to high. Last set before we go and do traps. We got traps and then buys, and then we'll see what we do glass, anything. this trap machine and then the dumbbells a lot. I'm just gonna alternate between these two every week. Starting off with two plates, then we'll go up to three if you need to. Just start off doing four range of motion slow and then just at the end spamming as many as I can. So we'll go ahead and hit probably two or three more sets of this before we move on to buys. Gonna start this set heavy with three plates and just pyramid down. Probably do like six reps. Drop set to two plates, by six or eight more, and then drop set to like five, four, five, six. Concentration curls. I haven't done these in a long time. I'm trying to do it how Phil, Phil Heath said. Start the rep tracted.
Yeah, pretty much what he said is you don't go all the way down, you go like to, your arm makes like a 45 degree angle basically, and then come to the top, just obviously push your pinky up and get that full peak. Those concentration curls felt amazing. I'm gonna link down below the short that I watched of him talking about it. You guys can try that out. On the cables, we're gonna do some of like the overhand, like double bicep pose curls. I don't know, that's what I call them. I don't know what they're actually called. absolutely destroyed my biceps so we're finishing up with forearms we got three different workouts two working sides for each one uh, we're starting off with just the normal Sam solid wrist curl <laughs> overhand curl pause for a second at the top and let it down Last exercise is another Sam Sulk thing, pretty much. Grab this, oh, that's very heavy. Put that down and wait, grab this, and then you're just. All right, just finished up with the workout. Got a pretty gnarly pump, honestly, especially my forearms. I don't know if my back and shit is still gonna be pumped up because it's been like an hour since I've last lifted my back. Well, maybe a little less, but yeah. Today went pretty well, considering I had my normal breakfast, but I woke up way earlier than I've been waking up. I only got like three hours of sleep because I had to bring my uncle to a yard sale. And then went home, drank a monster, uploaded some videos and shit. And yeah, and then I had two Rice Krispies before I came. So that's pretty much what we're running off of right now. So we're going to go ahead and take the pump cover off, check the pump. And yeah, we'll see how it went. It feels pretty good. I definitely had a good workout, even if I didn't get a good pump. I felt like I was getting a good stretch, good contractions. And my forearms and biceps especially got killed, so... <laughs>
Hi guys, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Got a great workout in, got a pretty decent pump, and we are gonna be pretty much all set now to go on this cruise on Monday. If you guys did enjoy today's video, check out some of my other videos. They're all relatively the same in terms of content style, but make sure you check those out in the description box down below. You'll find all the links to my socials. Please drop a follow and like some of my recent posts. I'm posting a lot on TikTok, a lot on Instagram, streaming every day, as I said earlier. So check out my Twitch stream. All that is down in the description box down below. Please like, comment, subscribe on this video. In the comments down below, please leave suggestions, tips, challenges, future video content you want to see, all that kind of good stuff. And yeah, so have a good one, guys, and thank you guys for watching. Peace.